All right, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome on back. Of course, continuing along here our Thursday afternoon here in the Cyber Group Trading Room and of course, streaming across social media, the likes, YouTube and Facebook here. Welcome on back, guys, for our afternoon meeting. Quick sound check just to begin. Make sure everyone can hear me loud and clear. We have class on the horizon, though, for all of us in our trading room, at least. Coming up at 3.05 p.m. Eastern Time Live coming up. Phase two, lesson number two, a continuated talk on time and sales. So great to see everybody though, Mark, Mark S, Mark H, the Marks in tandem here, Bonnie, Ron, Kathleen, Ben, Ken, Dennis, I saw you guys up top, Grant, Buongiorno, Andrea, Jeff, perfect. All right, so guys, let's go right into it. The Dow right now, up, then big time down, and then at least for now, shaking through. So for the afternoon right now, hopefully we can just have a clean trend within the markets to work off of. You know, we had a pretty exciting morning, at least on the way up. A lot of stocks ended up running up pretty nicely at first. Uh, but aside from that, though, we did really well, at least from our morning watch list, guys. So, you know, as always, we'll look to recap a couple of the big movers that we ended up catching at least uh, earlier from the open. And then from there, we'll look to uh, scan through, build up our list heading into the afternoon. So with the Dow up 174 points, well, let's take a look at at least a couple of the ones that we traded early on. And I learned my mistake. There we go. So CPAH, talk about one that did well for us, at least early in the pre-market. You know, hey, this plays out the same story in dance, guys. Not every time, but oftentimes. For a stock like CPAH that was up, you know, 100 plus percent leading into the open, we're expecting a pullback at 930 at least. You know, from there, if it could pick itself back up, break through resistance, then we'll have a new run. Well, that didn't happen here. So, you know, from that point forward, we kind of just moved on pretty quickly. You know, imagine trying to buy the stock at support at four and then instantly getting crushed. So, you know, trying to catch the falling knife could be extremely detrimental. So this was a great trade in pre-market, but, you know, hey, we saw this kind of play out yesterday. Uh, I think it was on the SAEX, which I'll go to just very quick. SAEX, nice little bounce today, but it was more yesterday where we saw the same pattern pop and drop, right? So, you know, for that reason, we got to make sure we follow the trends here, guys. So, you know, CPAH, we ended up doing well on in pre-market, but for now, certainly, uh, we're not going to keep into the uh, close. Well, that was one that did well in pre-market, one that did well in pre-market and after the open, and well, still doing well just here. WLL, Whiting Petroleum Corp. We ended up seeing them, of course, yesterday, the day before that, running up perfectly. And of course, leading into the open today, you could see from my screen, at least, we had a couple of key resistance levels at first. 135 held beautifully, at least leading into the open. A uh, little pop and drop at first, you know, a little false breakout initially, but ended up running way higher once it broke above that first line of defense. Uh, from there, 150, right? Held underneath 150 for a bit, but ended up squeezing up from that point, you know, ended up making the run that we all see here. So, you know, support or resistance became support. We ended up seeing the 135 level act as the essential dip point broke a little bit lower, but squeezed right back up. It's holding over 150 now. So, you know, we normally don't see a stock like WLL make a second clean move up heading into the close. The fact that this is holding support once again off 150, it's interesting. So, you know, although we don't see a second big run like this too often, it does happen. So for right now, we're going to put the uh, WLL trade on the list heading into the afternoon. Uh, I see from Kathleen here that my screen's on BCRX. I don't think that should be the case, Kathleen. Let me uh, let me do something quick, at least for all of us here in the tr here in the trading room. One moment. Looks like on YouTube, Facebook, I'm good to go, at least for now. Let me just do this for everyone here in the trading room. Yeah, I think for a couple of us, it was just lagging behind. I think a few of us are saying it was on WLL. I'm just going to reshare. That's fine. There we go. Should be on WL, WLL here for everybody. All right. So what I was saying was essentially for such a big move up, we normally don't ex expect a second continued move into the close, but this will be the exception here. Hopefully we see this break up much higher. All right. So WLL was the star of the morning, at least a huge run up, especially after breaking above big resistance. We ended up doing pretty well also on another stock from our list here, INO. I and O, at least more so a pre-market trade, ended up bouncing off of 1250, pushing up to 13 and above. But you know, again, shortly after the open, if it's not breaking higher, and especially for the run that the stock has had just the last two, three days, you know, as well, 
We've been following this off of eight from the smart money, you know, that came in a, a few days back. So, you know, ended up making lower highs and eventually shortly after the market opened, ended up breaking through big support off of 13, held it as resistance and back down it goes. So, you know, hey, right now I'm not going to put this on the main list. It's been very volatile, very active. So, you know, hey, if it ends up making a stronger recovery than I'm expecting here, then perhaps it could be a, a nice trade to follow. But, you know, at least for now, we'll, we'll follow or at least scan for uh, some other opportunities that are, that are still on the gainer side here. All right. So for any of the others that we ended up doing pretty well on, at least from earlier in the morning, guys, we'll look to recap them. OAS is a cheapie. I know that. Pushing up pretty nicely, though. Another petroleum stock, much like WLL. So if I put one on, I feel like I have to put the other as well. So OAS, we'll just put on our list tagging alongside WLL. This one's making a stronger push right now, it looks like. WLL looks like just for all of the volume traded on this one. Moving a bit slower, at least here for the meantime. All right, AXAS, cheapy, pushing up here a bit. Skip over it for right now, maybe come back to it. Uh, HPR, I feel like we have a few cheapies, guys, that are on the gainer side here, up big. You know, they already made some big moves, much like WLL. I don't expect a second big move. Um, this one was holding double top, essentially, off of 117, 118 high of the day. This KLXE trade, another energy stock, kind of moving up nicely here. Uh, for the range that you see on the daily chart, see the stock drop, I mean, almost perfectly from 650, seven bucks all the way down to, you know, a buck and below. Well, you're seeing a bit of a squeeze here. So, you know what? Ah, it's, I'll come back to this, I guess, maybe at the end. It looks like it's beginning to, to push a bit higher for right now. KLXE, I'll come back to this at the very end. It's trading about eight, 9,000 shares a minute. Not really a whole, you know, big group of icebergs to cut through. So we'll, we'll maybe come back to this one. All right. Here's a familiar name, at least to myself, CRC. Um, another resource stock ended up squeezing up early in the morning. Looks like it's making a new move up for the afternoon. Actually, just broke above the resistance that we were calling out a moment ago off of 225. Uh, you can see it just holding on the chart pretty nicely here. 225, maybe 226 that is, but you know, just broke above it. More volume getting filled off the ask. So another one that we'll kind of look to uh, tie together here. Like petroleum, energy resource stocks all squeezing up nicely. All right, let's see. Yeah, crazy CHK, Chesapeake Energy, right? Uh, ran up exponentially, of course, at the open from 22 to 32. And then for right now, at least making the same type of run up, uh, crazy spread, right? You know, you know who you are if you're going to be trading this. Uh, we're going to scratch this off our list for right now, though. You know, a 23 cent spread and very uh, small orders, very few orders, if anything, on the book for this stock. Uh, NEPT, nice and steady, at least kind of slow now trading in a tighter range. Nice level one stock, I'd say, kind of similar to WLL, even though that made a much bigger move. Tight spread, a lot of volume on the uh, level three there. So, you know, that I, I do like, just it looks like this thing's kind of finished up its run, though. Uh, sleep number, we were talking about this in the uh, in, in the update yesterday, in the post-market update briefly, at the end of the day, at least there. Uh, ran up nicely off of earnings, I believe. Ended up squeezing up from 27 to 31. Another stock that has a bit of a spread, but this one still seems to be fairly active heading into the afternoon. You know, holding high at the day, $30.90, pulling back down a couple points. So, you know, the sleep number will add to our list definitely more, you know, of a level five, just based on the spread, the lack of, you know, bigger orders on the book. But, you know, at least there's more there compared to that last one, CHK. Got to pick and choose your battle sometimes. CPH, that one again, dead. Uh, CDEV, another familiar name, cheapy at least. I'm trying to make a nice little run up off of 50. IMMU, this had a crazy spread from earlier today. Looks like it filled in a bit at least here. Okay. Uh, still smaller orders. Don't really see any big icebergs there. Huge drop at the market open. And then from there, essentially you know, flattened out, quote unquote traded in a tighter range from there, but still moving up, still very active, just going from 2670-ish, 2680, all the way up to 2725 or so, and now pulling back. So 
you know, this thing, this still, this, this thing's still moving pretty nicely. It it also is uh, shortable for those that have trade station. At least if this one ends up crapping out the complete other way under twenty seven. Perhaps at least from that point, it would be a good short opportunity. Uh, let's see what else. Look at Sava, S-A-V-A. I called this one out earlier, at least, going into the late morning. Ended up making a nice pop. Familiar name as well. We traded this just as you could see on the uh, daily chart there. At the end of 2019, ended up making a couple of crazy runs up, down as well. Just very volatile at the time. And eh, for that reason, we know this stock has some legs to move. But you know, for right now as well, I think the run, at least today, is done. All right, uh, that's pretty much it as far as what I see on the gainer side, guys. Last one here, I guess, GNMK, familiar name. Nice pop earlier, and it actually is making a pretty steady push up to the high of the day there off of 10.51 heading into the afternoon. So you know what? I'm happy that I clicked on this one. GNMK will at least add to our list for right now. See if this could break high of the day running into the uh, close. Is this all-time highs? I doubt it, but no, not even close, not even close, but still nice, pretty trend, at least heading into the afternoon. So we'll focus on it. All right, let's hop over to the loser side, guys. How about this? Whereas I normally would say a bunch of crap that's hard to borrow. Got a lot of stocks that are shortable here. IVZ, IVZ. Invesco Limited ended up breaking down early, at least heading into the morning or going into the late morning, rather. Uh, looks like a triple bottom of sorts from 829, 825, which led to this huge drop. Uh, still trading a hell of a lot of shares right now. 71,000 shares per minute the stock is trading over the last 20 minutes. Definitely heavily traded for what it normally you know, does, but you know, at least for now. And, and again, it's in a tight range here for a bit, but... You know, it ended up just breaking down below 755, 750 earlier. It's squeezing back up, maybe a bit of a run up here off the highs. So I'll add this to our list, certainly, the uh, IBZ. If anything, I'll put this near the top. I like this one. Uh, let's see what else. We got some more here. CDE, this one was one, 12 million shares counting. Uh, still near the lows of the day here for, for right now, guys. This CDE mining stock dropped off pretty much same pattern. Uh, that we saw IVZ. I don't know if they're related or not, but either way, pretty much right, right off the lows here, 356 for the uh, CDE trade. So, you know, I'll put this on our list as well. It seems exhausted. Seems like it's like just flattened out, but we're not going to look to jump into this just yet. We're waiting for the move. Is this going to look to break above resistance and squeak up higher? Or are we going to see this breakdown below support, below the 355 or 350 price, perhaps for that matter? So, you know, for right now, flat, but, you know, big move across the day. It is shortable in case it goes lower. And then otherwise, if the shorts cover, we'll look to see this pop a bit. So at least for now, we'll add this. Uh, Crocs, another one that was near the lows earlier and still dropping, I should say. A uh, little pop off the lows there in 1926. But from our, where I last saw this, it was at like 20 or you know 1990, just breaking down from that point. So very strong run on the uh, Crocsleys trade. Uh, just not really a big fan of their product as much. I always joke around with that. I think they make those ugly shoes or sandals or whatever. Uh, I don't know what happened. I'm guessing just earnings, bad earnings, down 15 plus percent. But you know, for right now, again, very active stock at this point in the afternoon. You have some big prints filled on the tape there, including a 23,000 share fill off of uh, 1975, pretty much where it's trading here. So I wouldn't put much um, weight on that one print, but focus on the level that was on the chart. Also, just you know what you would see on the ask likely at 20 there. But um, yeah, Croxies we'll put on our list. 20 resistance. Look to see if we could pull back towards 1950 support. All right. Now we have a bunch of crap hard to borrow. NBY, big dud from uh, this week. Uh, BCRX, familiar name. We've been trading this the last few days, I'd say, and a huge drop earlier. What was the news on this, guys? I know Ben called it out. It got halted. I, I didn't see the news. You guys know my stance on that. When I have the time, I'll look into the news, but I'm more focused on the volume. So now that the, the run is done, at least I don't really see much. This is from the 20th. There's nothing here from TradeStation, at, at least. 
Um, guys, if you have anything in the chat board here, certainly let me know. At least it's nice to know at this point, but still very tradable. BCRX A is shortable. So, you know, a couple of us were following this on the on the way down earlier. And it's been squeezing up at least for now off of 293 bucks and you know, still kind of lingering around 316, 320, essentially the VWAP there. So um, yeah, BCRX, I mean, for the similar for similar reasons to like CRC and to IVZ, still trading a lot of volume at this point in the day, had made a big move already. Uh, you know, probably will continue to trade in a tighter range from the compared to the drop off from from this afternoon. But you know, we'll look to see if this can give us about ten or fifteen cents, maybe. Nice level one stock at this stage. All right. So after that, let me see. Billy B I L I, another familiar name. I saw that called out from a student here in the chat board. Uh, down seven plus percent. Made a big drop off already. It broke lower, but squeezed back up here a bit. Right now, kind of just a little stagnant. Vips, I could say the same thing. Vips was trending down really nicely, at least all throughout the day. Yeah, I'll say the same thing for that one too. All right, guys, let me know if there's anything really that you would want me to check out. I think my scanner here is like tweaking out as well, so I can't run my normal momentum-based scan. If there's anything else, guys, in the chat board or otherwise across YouTube, Facebook, anyone watching on the stream, let me know. A bunch of call-outs from Ben, bunch of profits. Let's take a look at those. Don't know if we'll put all of them on, but uh, P10 new high, and it is up big. So this one right away, I have to, right? This, this should be a no-brainer, P10. Now, hopefully, this thing still give, gives us some more room. Nice pop and great call. Resistance off of three, you would imagine. 303, 305, a couple of larger orders also above that price. So. At least for now, we'll put this on our list. I feel like we're going to have a big afternoon watch list, guys. Uh, went over Billy already. Uh, BKR. It's moving up nicely. Steady, right? It is pushing up pretty nicely, I have to say. It's like a nice level one symbol. I don't think this is an ETF or a fund. All right, well, I'll put it on for now. I don't want to do that for every stock, though, guys. We're going to have like 30 stocks on our list by the end of this. Let's see. CODX from Kevin and from Ben. No, nah, this one's done. I'm not putting this on our list at this point. Nice pop from the uh, mid-morning, but fizzled out quick. I'm sure this thing could pop like 20 or 30 cents, right? Like it, it always can, I feel like. But for right now, we're going to keep our eyes off this. Uh, from Daniel, what are the next lottery numbers? That would be 3, 17, 19, 22, and 67. And Powerball, 8. He's asking to repeat. Nope, one time only, Daniel. That's it. You lost your opportunity. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, right? Uh, all right. So I think that we're good, guys. I don't know if there's really anything else. I didn't see much else. Maybe, let's see, from Ben HAL. We were looking at that from pre-market. Myself and Philip were watching this off of the, what was it, 750 or 850 level. Yeah, worth watching at nine. So we'll put this on one on our list here too. And that will do it though, guys. We got a big, big list. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 13 in total. And then, of course, a couple on our side list here, too. All right. WLL already on our list. OAS as well. So those two are on the top, right? WLL still squeezing up nicely. OAS looked even sharper. So, yep, right at the highs as well. So those will be our main two, at least for now, guys. Cheapies that are at the highs that can make some big moves, at least heading into the end of the day. Don't always tend to see it that frequently, right? So, you know, just be careful for a potential false breakout heading into the afternoon. But for right now, we got a big list. You know what I'll say here, guys. Start with this list. I don't want to finish up the meeting and then all of a sudden have like 13 callouts and other stocks. For new students that join us, it doesn't help them out. It doesn't help you out either. It's a big list. So try and just focus on one or two to begin. And then really at that point, guys, for most of us joining us in class, we'll look to uh, post the link coming up in a bit. But we'll look to cover uh, a lot of the stuff from this morning, even on Snapchat, uh, from a couple of the other big moves that we've had lately, even BCRX. Uh, we'll be discussing time and sales, going over shorting uh, specifically. 
All right, so I'll post and tweet the picks across the trading room, across social media alike. For anyone that would like to learn more about what we offer here at Cyber Trading University, our trading room, our online classroom here, feel more than free to call the uh, number on the banner at the uh, bottom of the page there. And of course, for all of our students here and members in our trading room, let's try and work together, guys. Close out the day strong. Take care.